Hi everyone, it's Deborah. Uh, I just was just putting on my makeup and I had my little sister on FaceTime. She goes, Debbie, why are you putting on your makeup? I go, because I'm getting ready to go on the roof and if I fall off or slide off, I want to look good, you know, in the ambulance. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, today is for all you car lovers, for you guys who like to detail your cars. So, as you all know, I did an oxidation video. Uh, I kept a car cover on my Cadillac for over a year. And during all the rain and the heat of the summer, that car cover, like, baked the paint on the front hood. It was very noticeable. And it was splotchy, like a light pink, a little bit of red. It was horrible. So, I researched what to do about this. So, that's what we're going to talk about also and my favorite detailing products. So I've got this huge bucket down here. And so, the first thing I did was wash my car. And I uh, used the big containers of wash and wax, and it's like one cap full to a gallon. And I remember when my son was living with me last year, he went through that whole gallon like in three weeks. I go, did you read the directions? I know he didn't, because that should have lasted a year. But um, I, that's in another room, but any of that will work, you know. Don't use Dawn. Uh, go get the wash and wax and the big containers. So, first I washed the car. And then I dried it down with microfiber. And I, I think I'm, I, got, I got this at the dollar store. I don't know, but it's 24. I used half of them, and I washed them all in the wash machine last, last night. So, uh, yeah, you want to always use microfiber on it on the inside and the outside of your car. So, <clears throat> after I washed the car, uh, I had bought clay bars. Now, the thing with clay bars is you only pinch off a little bit, okay? And if this falls on the ground, you have to throw it away because it, it will ruin your car. So, first you have to wet down your car with some kind of a, a detailer. So. I bought this. I've done videos about this. It's really good. Okay, if go outside right now, and if you can't see your face in your in your paint job, then you need a good wax job. Okay, so you spray this down, and you take the clay bar, and you don't go in circles. That's a no-no. You go this way or this way, not both. One way or the other. And then <clears throat> you turn it over spray another section, do it again. Now, <clears throat> as I was doing this, I realized what it was doing. It was, as I was going across the hood, I could feel some rough spots. That's the contaminants in your car, uh, on your car. The contaminants like a, a tar, tar or uh, just everyday stuff that's in the air floating or on the highway. So I could feel it getting rough. So that way I knew I had to do it more there. So now after you do this, you have to buff it down with this. Now, I could still see some oxidation. I could still see some oxidation. So I said, I'm not gonna give up. So. I had bought this. I'd read a lot of um, YouTube videos about this. This is Marine RV McGuire's Oxidation Remover. Now, this is uh, safely removes moderate oxidation, water spots, and scratches from gel coat surfaces. It re restores color, adding brilliant shine and gloss. Let me tell you what. Everybody should have this in their detail kit. Now, uh, you have to shake the stuff up. Don't don't forget to do that. Always read your directions. Shake well. Apply on a cool surface. Well, yesterday was like 55 degrees. It was in the shade. Um, so you shake well. Working one section at a time. Dispense a small amount on a cotton terry cloth or applicator pad and rub thoroughly into the surface. Now, if it's really bad oxidation, you're gonna to have to rub a lot. So I didn't have to rub too much. And then you go back and you immediately wipe with a clean dry cloth, which would be your microfiber. 
Let me tell you what, the difference was night and day. I was so happy. Uh, so after I did all that, you know, uh, I put on the car cover. Now, I use this for the tar shine, but I also have some others that I need to use. Armor All Tar Shine. You spray this on your tire and wipe it off to make your tires look pretty. Now, for the rims, go to Walmart and get this little container, mags and aluminum polish. You could use this on your jewelry. It will bring a brilliant shine. You don't need much. Use a microfiber, clean all your jewelry. Actually, this is real sterling. I could clean this and it would just be, can't see it now, I, need to, I guess I need to clean this. It would, you would be able to see it sparkling, but this is good for your rims, people. This is like $5, it will last you three, four years. Okay, now, uh, let's see. This is another qu quick detailer, like, um, let's see, like which one? Oh, like this one. This is Jay Leno's Quick de Detailer. Now, you should do this on a clean car. Um, used to clean fingerprints, smudges, water spots, and light dust for use on all painted surfaces. Clear cloak, plastic, plastic glass, chrome. So this is good for all the parts of your car. You got to shake this up. This is waterless wash. I would not ha I would not do that. You might have dust that could scratch. I would definitely wash your car first, but this one goes a little step further. Now, I haven't used this yet. Um, now, uh, I did use this one. It's Jay Leno's Tire and Trim Care for Rubber and Plastic. So there's some rubber pieces on my car. So I shook this up and uh, so wiped it on and then wiped it off. And it did make the rubber look more protected and a little bit more glossy. And um, this I'm getting ready to use today, the leather cleaner. You should always clean your leather. Uh, on my Cobra Mustang, I had leather and I think I only cleaned the seats twice in 21 years, but yeah. And it's because if you don't, it'll crack, the, it'll crack the leather. They need this moisture, so. This is Meguiar's too, let's see. Uh, oh, it removes stains, that's good. Shake well, test for color fastness. Spray directly onto a towel, onto the leather surface once a, and wipe off excess. Well, that's easy enough, so I will do that later. Now this is for, um, this is turtle wax. Got this at Ross. Uh, this would like do your dashboard, but this, uh, there's one that would, why do I have a screwdriver in this bucket? Um, I think I have another one. Let's see. I don't guess I do. So I guess this is for your dashboard, but never ever put anything on your gas pedal or your driver's floorboard because uh, I've been to a couple car washes where they'll do that and then your foot will slip off the brake or the gas. So don't never do that. Now, uh, this is the best glass cleaner. I'm sure there's, there's a couple more. If your glass cleaner, you're not pay, paying at least $3 or more for, uh, you're wasting your money. This one spray wipe, you're done. The cheap ones, like the Windex, you're going to have to clean that window three times, and you are going to have some smears. So, um, go the extra mile and get the spray way. I think what, one time, uh, I think I lived in Colonial Beach, I bought a, a case of this, because I, I had a lot of windows there. Now, <clears throat> don't laugh when you see this, because it really works. Okay, I was looking at the car, and everything looked shiny, everything looked good, and then I looked at my headlights, and I go, the headlights are yellow, they look dull. I don't even know how I can see at night. Then I remembered, I went and got my toothpaste. Can you guess? I smeared this toothpaste on the clear headlights. And as I was doing that, I could feel some rough spots. My left, my, uh, left headlight, um, the plastic. Oh my God, when I buffed it off, I sprayed uh, some of this on with, and then wiped it off with a microfiber. 
it was totally unyellowed. It was not yellow anymore. It was crystal clear. Now I did the right headlight and I noticed there was, looked like pollen had been stuck on there or maybe it was bug juice. I don't know, but I had to do it twice on the right headlight. Um, so I may do it again because the right headlight got a lot more, um, it was more, it's much dirtier so but let me tell you what it it looks good go outside look at your headlights and if it's not crystal clear go get your to toothpaste smear it on generously okay i hope you like this video bye